Okay, my insane friends, let's head out to the Savoy Auto Museum and check out the 1968 Jimmy Dodge Charger RT. Let's find out what's so special about this car. And were they really that popular? In 1968, there were nearly 100,000 Dodge Chargers produced, so they are plentiful, but as great as those were, this is not just another one of those. This is one of only 475 Dodge Chargers equipped with the famous Hemi power plant. The iconic body of these muscle cars include the best elements of all the muscle cars. Long sleek hood and engine bay, wide stance, a subtle coke bottle figure, and something not all muscle cars had. Those amazing buttresses flowing from the roof and disappearing halfway to the end of the trunk. Can you remember in the comments some other notable vehicles with those rear buttresses? Even when purchasing an RT, you still had to check the box and pay a hefty sum extra to receive the 426 Hemi V8 engine. Boy, was it worth it. The 426 Hemi came with two four-barrel carburetors, feeding high-flow hemispherical heads, 10 and a quarter to one compression ratio, and a solid lifter cam were just a few of the features of the Hemi. This resulted in an impressive 425 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and an even more impressive 490 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. RT stands for Road and Track. The Charger RT came with stiffer suspension, including better shocks and more substantial anti-roll bars front and back. The RT came with heavy-duty brakes, but front disc brakes was still an option. The original owner of this one must have checked that box, too. The interior is just as easy to look at as the exterior. The three-spoke steering wheel is your first clue that you're in a real American muscle car. The triple gauges and 8,000 RPM tack back up the claim and the 150 mile per hour speedometer removes all doubt. The long full length console wrapped around that four speed manual shifter is another additional cost option that not all of the 475 of these had, making an already rare and valuable car even more rare and valuable. This vehicle was on loan from Stevens Performance Collection in Anderson, Alabama. It was sold new in Atlanta, Georgia. It was restored by the Finer Details in Danville, Indiana. They certainly did a great job. So great that this was the first car to achieve a perfect score at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Let us know in the comments how much do you think a fine Mopar like this would bring at a Meckham or Barrett-Jackson auction? Share your Mopar photos on our Sane Auto Facebook page. Join your host, Victor Sane, this Saturday at 4 p.m. for a repair video or tool review video. And next week, another classic car or car show video. Every week here on Sane Auto. You can find Mopar links and other links in the description below this video.
got a whole lot more. We've got cool reviews, we've got hair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rod, hot rod, you name it. It's got wheels on it. Probably on this cam. Thank you.